Now that we've gone over the basics of the Science Olympiad Detector Building event, we'll show you what you need to build an LED output board. All of the parts required to build a 3 LED breadboard can be found in the TI Innovator Breadboard Pack. Use these components in the kit. One green LED, two RGB LEDs used for red and blue, three 100 ohm resistors, one breadboard, and seven male-to-male -male jumper wires. To learn how to build and wire the 3 LED breadboard, go to tidetectorbuilding.com and click on Path to STEM Projects. Once there, download Unit 1 and find the Skill Builder folder to learn how to connect an LED to the breadboard in TI Innovator Hub. You'll also learn how to program the calculator and TI Innovator Hub to control this LED. To use an RGB LED for a single color LED, such as red or blue, do the following steps. First, bend the two unused anode leads out of the way. Next, insert the cathode lead and desired colored anode lead into the breadboard just as if it were a fixed color LED as outlined in the Unit 1 Skill Builder folder. After you've completed the breadboard build, write a program to test the three LED breadboard. Do this by repeatedly blinking each LED on and off. You'll need to physically connect a jumper wire from each LED to different breadboard pins on the TI Innovator Hub. The code for this test program is very similar to the programs found in the Unit 1 Skill Builder folder. Run your program and, if a particular LED does not work, check the wiring and polarity of that LED. Ensure it is wired to the correct breadboard pin, then carefully review your code. Continue on to Part 2 to learn how to build and read your temperature sensor and visit TIDetectorBuilding.com if you need additional details.